Now, going back to when Law Sugar joined, mm -hmm. what was the whole process of that even happening yeah. initially? What made you think to... And I feel like it's kind of bold to even go <laughs> towards Lord Sugar. You right. Know, you didn't even go on the apprentice, you skipped all the steps. <laughs> I was like, like that's oh why I want to get to that. Just what, how do you get to that? So, um, do you know what it was? Yeah. I was watching The Apprentice with my mum, and I've only ever watched one season of The Apprentice, by the way, literally just one. It was a season with like Alana, the cupcake girl. Yeah. I thought she was so cute. I loved it. And I watched it with my mum, um, and she was like, you could do that. I was like, no, I can't. Like, I'm not going to go on TV and do that. She's like, why don't you apply? I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. But um, so I was stalking Lord Sugar on Twitter because everybody says like, you know, he, he like cusses people on Twitter. He does. He's, he's hilarious. He's so funny. <laughs> yeah. But he, um, I was stalking him on Twitter and he put, he put like, um, if you need uh, small businesses, if you need help, message me. It was during lockdown and message me or whatever. So, okay, let me send him an email. Couldn't find his email. Found his company. I emailed it like, Everyone at the company. <laughs> Not everyone. I just sent emails like again and again. I was like, I got a question. But can you put me in touch with Lord Sugar? Can I talk to Lord Sugar? Can I speak with Lord Sugar? Mm. And like, no one's responded to me. I'm like, sending emails again. Can I, can I talk with Lord Sugar? This is my business. I, I'm this. I'm this. Can I talk to Lord? They're like, they're all thinking, what the hell? Like, this yeah. girl, <laughs> leave us alone. And then one day on like a Sunday night, like a Saturday or Sunday night, I get like an email and it's got like Lord Sugar in capitals. Oh, yeah, and it comes from like it, it, his company AMS hold like AMS is like so it comes from an email that has AMS and I think what the hell's AMS? What the hell? mm -hmm. Alan Michael Sugar? He's literally Lord Sugar from his email address. Uh, like he's emailed me personally. Ooh. Yeah, and I'm thinking I can't respond to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm like looking at it like this. I'm like. Also, sorry to interrupt. What yeah. stage was your business at at this point as well? This was. I just got my first office. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it was a lot. You know, what? it was the size of this studio. Okay. okay. My entire office was in here. Yeah. There's two girls working for me. Mm. They had my stock. I was like 100k on TikTok and like 30, 40k on Instagram. And like I messaged him and I was like, look, like this is what I've got going on. He was yeah. like, okay. He messaged me back. He, okay, come to Loughton in two days. Come see me. Let's talk. So you just... Where, where's, where's London? Off the side of London. Oh, okay, okay. Just literally, I had to get the train from Birmingham to London, then the tube for like an hour out of London. Uh, right, you know, it's right at the end of the tube line, like from, wow. from Houston. It's like... So 40 minutes, I sat. And you know what's hilarious? I was late. I was late. Holly. 40 minutes late. Wow. And I was... I was so scared. On the way there, you were thinking of all sorts of stuff. I was like, I'm going to get a bollock in the second I get in. He's going to be like, turn around and leave. Like, oh, I was so scared. I was scared for my life. Wow. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got there. They picked me up at the train station and then I went and I like walk up the stairs, right? Mm -hmm. And he's like, there's like a table like this. And there's like two people here, two people here. He's like there. Wow. I like walk up the stairs and the door, his door's open. I make eye contact with him and I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, even like you know didn't even know what to do then the adrenaline kicks in and I'm like oh smiling oh why am I just being me and like I just spoke to him I showed him my products I showed him stuff like um told him about like what what I do and how I do it and he was just like okay cool like I want to invest in your business um talking of which and you know my audience is based on investing in yeah what um figures did you ask to see and how did he make yeah. Okay. Well, how do you make a decision thinking, yeah, this is great, let me look into this? Or was it more based on your character? <laughs> I like to think it's because I'm nice. No, he, um, so he, we, what did I give him? I gave him my, I gave him some management accounts for a couple of months, like six months or something. Okay, cool. And for him, he was happy with my margin uh -huh. because my costs, I had no marketing costs at that point. Mm -hmm. No marketing costs. I wasn't spending any money on ads. I wasn't spending any money on trialing things. I was just doing what was working and it was working. Yeah. So I, everything was free. Like I was making money from TikTok, Instagram, like yeah. I said, reels. Yeah. And he was like, okay, this is cool. Like, I like this, you low overheads. And, and you know, if we increase your volume of sales, your profits will be, be big. So that's yeah. why he wanted in. And for me, it was like, you know, everyone felt like that's 50% of your business that like you built for two years. Mm. Two years is not a long time, but for me, it's a long time. I mean, I'm not, yeah. like, not even 20, like two years is a long time. Yeah. And, and it was like, even it, it, within me, I felt, how can I give away so much mm -hmm. that we're deadlocked? Because now it's completely half and half. Yeah. Any decision I make, he can say something about it. Uh, Any decision yeah. he makes, I can say something about it. Wait, so 
it's, it's not a pocket watch, but like hmm. it's it's half and then half of half between you and your business partner. Or the business partner you've been referring to this whole time. Was... Low sugar. Oh, I, I, for some reason I thought um, nah. it was just someone. Nah. Uh, my just bad. me. <laughs> just me. It's literally just me because I built it from. from... Yeah, 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 scratch. What yeah. it was from scratch, yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah, Lord Sugar is the, the business partner, in case yeah. you didn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he, um, so it's half between me and him. <laughs> so when he invested. Um, Can you dispose of it a little bit? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, no, not really. But um, he invested more than what his share was worth, yeah. essentially, because. I just suppose he doesn't have faith in me, innit? Like, he was like, yeah, take it. I was like, okay. So the money then um, was his initial investment, kind of like, you know, he was buying a share. Mm. And it's 50-50, like literally straight down the middle, not like 49, 50, 51, mm. nothing. Mm. It's 50-50. Mm. So, so a lot of that is like, um, so the money's closely watched now. Yeah. Not that, you know, I was doing anything wrong, but like, um, because it's split between two business partners, yeah. everything is everyone's. Yeah, so, so it's a lot of a. Uh, would you girl. say um, after you know joining him, would it say it affected the way you made decisions and mm. the way you took and treated the business? Yeah, definitely. So mm. I have um, his his management accountant does obviously Trizzle accounts. So I talk with him a lot. Um, <laughs> so bad. Yeah. I would like they, like your business card is your business card, yeah. And when you run a small business, you're gonna like occasionally. You know, buy your lunch on the business card or something. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, all do yeah, it. Yeah, come, yeah, of course, come on, we all do it. Yeah, you know, course, we entertain a client. You, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can't do that anymore. Oh, well, he's strict, like <laughs> not strict, but like in a sense that, like, that is disrespectful in a, if, for me because I think like if I spend the money, that's half his. He's basically uh-huh. paid for my lunch. Uh-huh. Come on, it's rude, isn't it? It's rude. Okay. It's rude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like if you... I spend twenty pound, ten of it's his. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because the profits, ten of it, ten pound is his. Mm-hmm. So like, I, I'm just, I would say I'm more careful of how I spend the money, yeah. and I'm probably a bit more, yeah, I feel a bit more strict on myself. Mm. But that's okay because now that like, um, I wasn't taking really a salary before, but mm. now that I'm with him, we we negotiate a service contract, so I have a salary, like an actual set salary that I get every month now. Mm. So it doesn't feel as you know messy as it did because mm-hmm. I got my money to spend so I don't really mind yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't nice, really mind nice but, yeah. um, how would you say he is compared to the Apprentice series how is he in person do you know he's actually <laughs> I just record he's actually pretty similar really oh that, that's yeah <laughs> do you know what? he doesn't shout at me he never does He and you know what? he's not disrespectful to anyone he's mm. a great he's an amazing amazing man and, and I really look up to him and he but he is hilarious he's so funny you know one time he Sorry, I can't even, I can't even, you know, he's just funny. Like, he says crazy things all the time. Like, yeah. one time we like, um, in an email thread about something, right? And somebody sends an email at 4 a.m. Mm. And he emails back and he's like, go to bed. Huh? <laughs> wow. I was like, you, I was like, oh my gosh, like, he's hilarious. He's so funny. But uh, yeah, he says crazy things. He does. And he's definitely hard, but he's, he's quite nice in a sense that like, um, I had, I don't know if we spoke about Twitter or anything, but since when he first posted me, there was yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah so there was you... a lot about, like, he posted that tweet <laughs> and there was like so many comments. I'd never used Twitter before, mm. before that. I had to make Twitter because of the announcement. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even been on there. I wouldn't have looked on Twitter. Yeah. But um, he posted that and, and the comments were like, she looks like a transsexual. <laughs> Oh, she looks God. like she looks like a man or like somebody said like does she have the right papers or like <laughs> wow so what there was a lot of hate towards just you just trolls like, just tr- lots and of- really really nasty ones as well like me- commenting on my looks like you know mm. somebody said uh, somebody called me a floozy like I didn't even know what that is like do you know, like, know it means like it means like it means like oh, yeah wow. and I was like what the hell? And somebody else said something like, you know, there was a lot of stuff about, oh, you're a young girl, he's an old guy. And I was like, don't even, don't even dare. Like, don't, come on, come on. I was like, don't even try it. Like, it, it was so bad. And, and for that, I, and because of that, I, 
Like when, and he would obviously keep tweeting and he was tweeting about the business in a lot in the beginning as well mm. because that's like how we do a lot of our marketing as well through him. So, and I mentioned to him in an email like, hi, hi guys, like can we, I didn't even send it to him, I sent it to the social media manager and I said, look, can we cut back on the tweets? Yeah. Oh, because you're so scared of the reaction. Yeah, and because the... I felt it was more bringing negative than, than anything. And it was mm. honestly getting to me, like it was actually getting to me. Because it's not, you like Twitter trolls are not like TikTok trolls. Yeah, Twitter trolls are brutal. Like, will, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they'll yeah. rip into you. And I was like, I, was, I can't handle this. It's not good for my mental health. But did, so, you, did you get any hate on TikTok, by the way? TikTok, was, yeah. Was all, was all, Here and there, but I, was TikTok hate, TikTok hate. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Twitter was something else. And so I mentioned it to him. And then obviously, social media manager guy, he, he forwarded it to Lord Sugar. And Lord Sugar was like, Money, like, no, that's so bad. Why would you say that? He was like annoyed. I felt like he was annoyed. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, shit, like, I pissed off Lord Sugar. Like, what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. So I messaged him, and obviously, I was like, he messaged me, and, and I, he voice noted me, and I, I voice noted him back, and I was very no noticeably upset. Mm -hmm. And he, he turned around, and he's like, come on, Marnie, like, look, you need to separate yourself from this now. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to separate yourself. Like, he said, like, I made, I made a billion pounds. People still take the piss out of me. <laughs> That's but true. you know don't care about it don't care about these trolls do what you're doing and and i was like, oh my god you're so nice and i was like crying more like, you're so nice, yeah, nice. <laughs> he's probably thinking what the hell i'm regretting this now <laughs> i'm regretting this girl but no he was he, he's like got his tough tough side but he's also yeah, he's, a human being isn't he and he's a good he's an amazing mentor he is mm, like the I advice know. that yeah the advice that you can get from him so you can call him up not whenever but you can yeah, call him up pretty much send him a whatsapp message or something yeah. he'll respond at some point he's pretty responsive but um yeah he did give a lot of advice as well in the beginning like showing me stuff. he's like quite invested in a sense of, like Oh, like he was in Paris, like showing me, sending me pictures of toe rings, like oh, <laughs> in a market, oh. like sending me. I was like, oh wow. Because <laughs> one thing people may have thought was um, he might have just been a cash cow. Yeah. But it seems like he's providing management accountants. He's, he's providing a whole entire experience. Like he has a team that handles a lot of things. Mm. So obviously he has this company, um, Amshold, Amsvest, whatever. Yeah. They have people who work there, management accountants, social media managers, tech people. And I use them, like when I need to, I have access to his team of amazing people. And all of them are so, so helpful yeah. that it's just been, it's just been, and that was what it was for me. It was like, I didn't just want the money. Yeah. Otherwise I couldn't have given up 50% of my business for a bit of money. Yeah, yeah. Like it was, it was, it was, you know, the reputation, mm. the like, all the team he had to offer me, a lot of stress off my head. It, it was the whole package that, that enticed me to take the deal.